Is it normal to not be numbed at all before receiving PRP injections in the scalp? I recently had PRP injections for a small bald area on my scalp. When it was time to inject the PRP into my scalp, I asked about the numbing. I had read on other websites that a numbing cream would be applied before injecting. He said they did not do numbing and that numbing would decrease the effectiveness of the shots. I am not afraid of needles or shots, but I have to say that the shots were extremely painful. Is it normal not to be numbed at all? Thank you for your question. You're asking your question whether it's normal not to be numbed before PRP injections. And you go on to describe in the details of your question that your physician who performed these, this treatment felt that the numbing would interfere with the effectiveness of the treatment and you describe the experience as being very painful. Well, I can certainly give you my experience with this type of treatment. Um, in our practice, we do, we do hair loss treatment um, similarly uh, in our practice every day. Uh, a little bit of background, I'm a board certified cosmetic surgeon and fellowship trained oculofacial plastic and reconstructive surgeon. I'm also the founder of Trichostem Hair Regeneration Centers, a system we developed which uses PRP in addition to a material called acellular matrix and other elements to help men and women from around the world treat male and female pattern hair loss. I've been in practice for over 20 years and we use PRP for hair loss every day as I mentioned earlier. So I am familiar with this practice and I can tell you from our local area in New York City, uh, we have an office in Manhattan, I've been aware that there are colleagues who do believe in doing this treatment without any anesthetic. Now, I think that um, from, from, our, from the feedback we're getting from patients who come to us that they would go monthly for PRP injections and they would endure a fair amount of discomfort getting these injections and by the fourth month they were questioning the justification of the pain and the results uh, therein and whether, where the end point would be. I can tell you that if from my personal practice style and from my own philosophy is pain should be avoided as much as possible. Uh, frankly, as, as a cosmetic surgeon, as a specialist who does everything from head to toe in the cosmetic field and with specialized areas beyond that, uh, it's been my mission from day one to make my patients comfortable and to make cosmetic procedures less uh, daunting and more accessible. So from the beginning of my career where I proved that, uh, low, uh, that lower eyelid, upper eyelid, cosmetic surgery and facelifting surgery I can perform without general anesthesia but under local anesthesia with light sedation and evolving such, you know, so many procedures that we do everything in a way so that our patients, whether they're sedated or whether they're wide awake, are completely comfortable. So when, I, when we perform hair regeneration, and I explained that a little bit, hair regeneration is a system we developed based on technology for wound healing called, uh, using platelet-rich plasma and acellular matrix. We're able to help patients who come to us, as I mentioned, from around the world with 99% successful outcomes, meaning stopping the progression of hair loss, reactivation of hair that's not growing, as well as inducing the uh, shedding of thinning hair and the regrowth of thicker hair with a single treatment. And in some cases, maybe a second treatment uh, around 15 to 18 months later. But our, uh, with our data of beyond five years, patients have continued to benefit from a single session. Now that being said, I could see how it would be pretty daunting to go back for um, PRP treatment without topical or any anesthetic. As I said, there are, I'm familiar with this practice. I am a little bit 
I, I don't know exactly what the justification is. However, I can tell you from our experience what we do for our patients, and even with successful numbing, we're able to get pretty amazing uh, results. What do we do first? We use topical anesthetic. We apply it in a, in, 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 around the scalp, around the perimeter of the, tr the, the planned treated, uh, area of treatment, and uh, let that anesthetic work for a while. And then we do what's called a ring block, like what's done for a hair transplant, and so that the top of the scalp is completely numb. And then I do the actual injection treatment. So with a fairly good uh, treatment process where we do numb the scalp, we've had tremendous success with this treatment. So I understand that every doctor has their justification, but I think it is reasonable to at least ask the question, is pain necessary? And from my experience, I pain, pain is not necessary um, to, to have to put up with throughout this process. Once the top of the scalp is numbed, and I'm not saying that it's painless from the beginning, you know, getting a few little local anesthetic injections is going to be uncomfortable, but we use the tiniest needles after, you, after you application of topical anesthetic. That being said, hair regeneration has been extremely successful for us. So I think that you need to have, figure out what is right for you. Like I said, a lot of people have come to us once they've got tired of feeling uncomfortable with the PRP injections without anesthetic. So learn more and make, make some decisions so that you can feel better about treating your hair loss. So I hope that was helpful. I wish you the best of luck. Thank you for your question.